Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk Series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Fire Triangle. Let's talk about what makes a fire and what we can do to prevent it. Fire can be compared to a triangle. Three sides are necessary to make a triangle and three ingredients are necessary to cause a fire. These are heat, air, and fuel. If any one of these three sides is missing, there can be no fire. Heat, the first side of the fire triangle, can come from many sources. It can be generated by sparks from welding operations, discarded cigarette butts, electrical shorts, frayed wiring, friction from power tools, and hot exhaust pipes. Fuel, the second side of the fire triangle, may be liquid, such as gasoline or solvents, a solid, such as paper or wood scraps, or a gas, such as propane. Air, the third side of the fire triangle, contains oxygen which is necessary to sustain a fire. This is one side of the triangle we can't do much about. Air is usually present. Heat, fuel, and air must be in the proper proportion for fire to occur. It is possible to have these three ingredients without causing a fire. For example, there may not be enough heat or air to ignite the fuel and cause it to burn. Let's talk about what we can do to prevent the fire triangle from forming. Remember that if you remove any one of the three ingredients, you will prevent or extinguish the fire. We can help prevent fires by doing the following. Maintaining a neat and clean work area, thus preventing an accumulation of rubbish. Putting oily or paint-soaked rags in covered metal containers. Observing all no smoking signs. Keeping all combustible materials away from furnaces or other sources of ignition. Reporting any fire hazards, we cannot eliminate. This includes electrical hazards, which are the source of many fires. Arrange cold weather heating devices so that tarps won't blow into them. When you know the angles, it's easier to prevent and control fires. Remember the fire triangle, heat, air, and fuel. When you find these three ingredients present, take heed. A fire could be in the making. The fire tetrahedron is a more complex and in-depth look at the fire triangle model. Alongside heat, fuel and oxygen, the fire tetrahedron features a fourth component, the chemical chain reaction. This model treats the chemical chain reaction that produces ignition as its component. Fires are caused by combustion, an exothermic chemical reaction that continues to feed a fire and keeps it burning. Immediately after ignition occurs, this exothermic reaction begins and sustains the fire until one or more of the core components of the fire tetrahedron are removed. For fires involving chemicals such as magnesium or titanium, a different approach is needed than other fires because of the specific chemical chain reaction. For example, water could not be used to put out this type of fire as it would increase combustion. These are known as Class D fires. As not all fire extinguishers and fire extinguishing methods are appropriate to fight all types of fires, understanding how a specific kind of fire behaves on a molecular level can help to understand the best way to navigate the situation safely. Just like the fire triangle, if one or more of the components of the fire tetrahedron are removed, combustion stops, and the fire is extinguished.